Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. This is going to be another practice session video for the RHCSA exam. And the this will be a, a pretty short one compared to the last that I did when I was trying to um, make an NFS share. And what I've decided to do is just go to the uh, Red Hat Certified System Administrator exam site and look at all of the objectives. And I'm simply going to go down the list and do a little practice session, seeing if I can either explain whatever the objective is or uh, or perform the, the objective in my virtual machine. Don't consider this to necessarily be authoritative information on the exam. I uh, am in the process of studying for it, but if you're um, studying as well as I am and just would like to see kind of how a particular person is approaching these or approaching how to practice them or while you're practicing it doesn't work and you're trying to, to, to troubleshoot since we all know this will be a performance-based exam and if something doesn't work well you can't or you probably could it wouldn't be a good, good idea to just like quit the exam right there what you're going to do is troubleshoot and try to make it work and I figure that's just what these will be. Before I jump in, I want to remind you, if you enjoy the content of the video, make sure you click like, and also subscribe to the channel and ring the bell when you do, so you know when new content is coming available. So the objective um, for today, or not for just today, but this particular video, is in the Understand and Use Essential Tools section, the Access a Shell Prompt and Issue Commands with the Correct Syntax. Well, um, most of the the work I would expect a person to be doing in uh, Linux, especially on the server-side administration, is going to be at the command line. But the beginning part of this, the access a shell prompt, makes me think that, all right, what if you're in a GUI environment for uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux and you need to get to the the uh, command line to, to do things, and then obviously issue commands with correct syntax. So to go through the motions here, I have a VM of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which actually I'm uh, using CentOS 8, but of course CentOS is a, a clone of Red Hat with the branding and such taken away. So to log in, I'll just click my username. And we'll be on the GNOME desktop after it loads. And to be able to get to the, the command line, it's probably a keyboard shortcut for this that I don't know, but I would simply go to activities. Likely terminal is already going to be there. If it's not, I can either search for terminal or you can click the show applications and click all. I believe it's under utilities. Yes, terminal. So any of those will be valid ways of accessing the terminal. Again, I would probably just use the little sidebar here to do that. So once you're in the terminal, that, you know, access the terminal. We've done that. And then be able to do um, commands with proper syntax. Well, let's um, print our working directory. That's command PWD, proper syntax. Let's say I wanted to do a long listing of the directory and show any hidden files. So I'll do ls-al. A will show us any of the hidden files. Those being files that start with a dot and then the L's the long listing. So that's done. One thing I, I, I do want to add to it that, that, that I've learned in my um, in my journey to, toward the RHCSA that goes outside the scope of this uh, objective a bit. And that's the, the type of shell that I'm in right now. So I just opened up terminal and we're good to go. This is something called an interactive shell. And I believe later on there, there's an objective or, or something that will be related to um, uh, setting like default settings for shells. And this interactive shell here is not a login shell it's literally open the terminal and you're there that's governed by this bash rc file and then um, i'll do ls dash l etc bash star that should yeah and is that where that is should be go in the etsy directory should be a bash rc file on that. Yes. So for global 
non-login shells, Etsy Bash RC is going to have the various um, settings and such, like uh, UMask. This is not what's called, as I said, a login shell, such as if I were to clear my screen and try to type log out, it's going to say, hey, we're, 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 we're not a login shell. For your login shell, if I were to do my, go back to my home directory, CD, ls-al, this bash profile is going to have the settings for your login shell. And then uh, for the global settings, if I were to go into Etsy, the Etsy profile is going to have those those settings for login shells that are um, that are global settings for all the users on the machine. Again, this is a short video. The objective is pretty simple. It's um, be able to access a terminal, which from the GUI environment on uh, CentOS 8, and I imagine RHEL is going to be very similar, if not the exact same to it, open the terminal and then be able to do commands with proper syntax. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you click like. Also, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and thanks for watching. I'll see you the next time.